What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing a sleeper in my opinion, the ACG Dog Mountain. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. Also, if you didn't know, I'm doing a giveaway for this pair of off-white Nike Prestos. It's my small little way of saying thank you to you guys for helping me hit the 250,000 subscriber milestone, which is absolutely insane, and I can't thank you guys enough. Seriously, I never thought I'd be here, and because of you guys, I'm getting these insane opportunities and hopefully bringing you guys better and better content. But if you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is click the link in the description below. Over the years, I've always been, I guess, a passive admirer of ACG, meaning that I'm interested in what they're making but it was never something that I really wanted to buy and as rich of a history as Nike ACG has it was just never something that I really felt like I needed but growing older as things change and your girlfriend wants to start going on more hikes you realize that there's some things that you just have to shell out for and one of those things was a decent pair of hiking shoes because every other pair of shoes I have as many pairs as I have None of them are great for trails because believe me, I tried hiking in Ultra Boost, I've tried hiking in Fly Knits and Jordans and pretty much everything that I have and it's either extremely uncomfortable on that sort of terrain or I just don't want to mess the shoes up. So when Nike dropped the newest ACG collection on their sneakers app, I felt like it was time to take the leap and grab some hiking shoes. So here they are, the $110 ACG Dog Mountains. First thing I gotta say is that I looked at a lot of other hiking shoes and hiking boots before I made this purchase decision. And even though some of those shoes had better tech specs or were better for certain applications, these shoes, well, they just look the best. Starting out on the toe of the sneaker, you've got this black suede mud guard that wraps around the entirety of the toe. This suede isn't premium suede by any stretch of the imagination, but it is a lot more durable than a lot of other materials used on sneakers. Not only that, it provides some really nice structure and lateral support on the toe of the sneaker, which is definitely necessary when you're climbing on rough terrain. In different spots on both sides of the toe, you actually have these perforations that show through to a 3M material. That's actually a nice touch for nighttime. In the center of the toe, you have this sort of nylon mesh and sort of a dark gray, and I think the reason it's there is for added breathability to allow a little bit more air into the sneaker. What I will say is that it doesn't seem to let a lot of air into the shoe and it's a very, very hot sneaker. To be fair though, while hiking, I'd rather have a shoe that's a little bit more water resistant than more breathable. And from what I can tell, this shoe is relatively water resistant. It's not waterproof, but it's water resistant. Continuing up on the shoe, you have these very retro ACG inspired laces. I uh, might be switching these out for the black laces because like I said before, I don't really have any ACG nostalgia, so they're just kind of there for me. These pink, orange, and blue laces run through this bright orange strap in the middle of the tongue. And then at the top of the tongue, you've got your triangular ACG Nike logo. The inside of the sneaker is incredibly bright in true retro ACG fashion. The back of the tongue comes in this light blue and the rest of the sock liner comes in this sort of bright purple. And then you've got the insole that comes in bright orange with the ACG logo printed in black on the heel. As for fit, the ACG Dog Mountain does seem to fit true to size. And I've gotta be honest, it fits very, very well. Other than the actual warmth of the upper, I had no complaints towards the fit whatsoever. Continuing back on the shoe, you find another black suede panel that wraps all the way around to the other side of the sneaker. In the center of this suede panel, you've got another signature ACG touch with this very vibrant blue, orange, and black Nike swoosh. I actually don't mind that too much. On the medial side of the sneaker, you don't actually have that large, colorful Nike swoosh. Instead, you just have this small debossed Nike swoosh with some coordinates debossed above it. Around the top of the ankle, you have this rubber honeycomb mesh for a little bit of flexible support. Now moving around to the heel of the sneaker, you've got this orange pull tab with a black rubber accent with ACG's logo. And then at the base of the upper, you've got another 3M hit. Moving down the sneaker, you get to one of my favorite design details of the entire shoe, and that's this topographical map-inspired midsole. This midsole is literally a 3D map of a mountain range, which I think is so cool. You actually have this detail on both sides of the sneaker. In fact, the mountain range changes depending on which side of the shoe you're looking at. Towards the back of the sneaker, you've got another ACG logo in, I guess, like a purplish pink. As for the actual cushioning of the sneaker, it's definitely a little bit more firm. Nike doesn't specify what kind of foam they used in the shoe, so I'm assuming it's probably just EVA. It doesn't compress very much, when you're squeezing it with your fingers and honestly when I was wearing the shoe I just didn't notice it at all. But at the end of the day for a trail shoe cushion isn't the most important thing so I'm not mad at the way this turned out. On the front of the toe you've got some spikes for traction and then you've also got a mirrored ACG logo so when you dig into the dirt it'll actually leave an imprint in the correct direction. That's actually kind of a cool touch. And then finally moving to the bottom of the sneaker you've got this black and blue rubber outsole. The black rubber has sawtooth traction on the toe and on the heel of the sneaker which honestly really helps the shoe grip. And then the blue portions have this square traction pattern which actually also grips really nicely 
as well. And then finally, rounding off the outsole of the sneaker, you've got another mirrored ACG logo so that when you leave an imprint, it's gonna be in the correct direction. Overall, the Nike ACG Dog Mountain might not be the prettiest looking shoe in the world, but it's gonna be perfect for exactly what I need it for. Overall, the ACG Dog Mountain might not be the best looking sneaker in the world, but it's gonna be perfect for exactly what I need it for. At $110, it's a relatively budget-friendly hiking sneaker, so if you're looking for something with a little bit of style and with that ACG badge, this is a good way to go. That pretty much wraps up the video for today. I'd love to know your thoughts on the ACG Dog Mountain and whether this is a shoe that you're actually interested in or one you're gonna completely pass by, so make sure to leave those comments in the comment section down below. Once again, if you guys would like to enter the 250,000 subscriber Nike Off-White Presto giveaway, make sure to click the link in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.